Every business on 17th needs it, and, and not just 17th, the city needs it. The city needs a, a punch in the arm. When the home team is hot, so are businesses like this. And with the Calgary Flames in good shape to make the playoffs this year, many are hoping for a Red Mile revival. But if that happens, they want major construction delayed to make room for fans who are flooding the streets. In 2004, the city was on fire. And the closer the Flames got to the Stanley Cup, the more people flooded from the Saddle Dome to 17th Avenue Southwest. Ernie Sue owned two bars on the Strip that year. Oh, it was amazing. Amazing. It was, it was vibrant, energetic, um, you know, really brought the city together. Of course, the Flames this year are looking to make a, a very deep run. Other than the rest of the season, there are more roadblocks in the way of another Red Mile. The $44 million rebuild of the roads, sidewalks and utilities that will be in its third construction season this spring. It was all bad timing for businesses facing a recession and other challenges the last few years. The city just wrapped up a section of the upgrade in front of this bar last year. What makes it tougher is the rise in taxes during a time of construction. As you can see, there's been a few more restaurants that are closing, uh, not only on 17th, but in the immediate area. Um, and the construction obviously doesn't help. It has to be done. Uh, the city does get better with doing it every year, though. The city of Calgary told City News its construction schedule is still under review and it hasn't made any decisions on how it will roll out yet. But last year, after talking to businesses, it did clear the way for construction in summer of 2018 for the Calgary Stampede. The road stayed clear for the rest of the patio season, and the crews came back that September. Construction is set to resume this spring. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.